So this is the a video on the chapter of on the course of uh, representation theory, and we are still doing some uh, revisions on linear algebra. So in the previous video, we saw the coordinate vector and taking coordinates. And we also saw some linear transformations from a base B, uh, V. So we had a transformation from V to W, where we had a base B for V and B prime for W. So we saw um, the, the matrix of the transformation, right? Uh, with the basis B and B prime. Okay, in this video we are going to see a couple of things still on uh, about this basis. The standard basis for uh, the space C to the power of n is E1, E2, so it will be n vectors. Okay. So this is a, a basis for this space. Okay, but this is not uh, this. Uh, the basis here is what we call the standard basis. So the standard basis is e1, e2, en, where you have e of i, uh, and e of i is one every um, i coordinate and zero all others. Okay, so I gave a, 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 a practical example here, for instance, pra uh, a practical and a particular one. For n equals 3, you have what we call the, the, the canonical basis or the standard basis. Okay, okay. Um, So I have to say now that from now on, when I use the endomorphism of Cn or the space of matrix n by n with entries in the complex numbers or the linear group uh, n or the general linear group of matrices n by n with entries in the complex numbers. Um, if I identify a linear transformation with a certain matrix, so that matrix will be always uh, respect to the standard basis. Okay, so I'll be always on this standard basis from now on. So here I know I'm there will be a bit of abuse of notation, but since we are going to use always the, the standard uh, basis, so imagine the dimension of a space V is N and the dimension of a space W is M. N and M. So the endomorphism of V all the endomorphisms of V will be isomorphic to the space of matrices dimension n with entries in the complex numbers. The general linear group V will be isomorphic to the general linear n with uh, dimension n and the uh, complex entries. And all the homomorphisms from V to W will be isomorphic to the space of matrices M by N with, com with complex um, entries. We are, I'm, I will be always using the standard basis for, for them all, okay? Um, for instance, the general linear group of one by one matrices with complex entries is isomorphic to the non-zero complex 
okay so I'll be using this one and so if W is a subspace subspace of V so we write I'm going to write this W subspace of V okay um, so this indicates a subspace okay this is, I don't know if this is standard notation but I'll be using this okay as a subspace and so okay so if W is a subspace of a space vector space V and by definition we know this from linear algebra that if W1 and W2 are subspaces of V adding W1 plus W2 it's like adding W1 plus W2 where W1 is in this subspace and W2 belongs to this subspace okay we just add the, the, the elements so this is the smallest subspace of V this will be the smallest subspace of V containing W1 and W2 okay uh, okay also from linear algebra if I intersect W1 with W2 and I I get the, a set with the element 0 then we say that W1 plus W2 is a direct sum okay and we are going to write W1 plus W2 okay now uh, speaking from the point of view of vector spaces the direct sum W1 plus W2 it's isomorphic to the, the product okay where the product so it, it will take also to the direct sum um, and this isomorphism is given by W1 W2 is mapped to W1 plus W2 okay so as vector spaces this sum is given by this map okay in this way w1 w2 taken to w1 plus w2 okay um, there is also this concept of external direct sum so we have the space V with sum directly and externally to W that's V times W so the dimension of W1 plus W2 equals the dimension of W1 plus W2 okay uh, in a simple way if B1 is a basis for W1 and B2 is a basis for W2 that implies that if we the union of B1 and B2 is the basis for the external direct sum okay, of W1 plus W2.